Hi there, this reading is for everybody that is drawn uh, to the thumbnail or drawn to this video. This reading is for you guys and this is the Unlock Yourself Tarot Spread. So it's the keys to self-discovery. It's all about what makes you unique, how to unlock your magical powers, your creativity, your compassion, your prosperity, how to unlock your peace of mind. When are you the happiest? and your hidden potentials. Sorry that the camera keeps adjusting. Hopefully it gets situated soon. Okay, so this is gonna be a good reading because the hair font has just popped out telling us that, okay, that's annoying, sorry. The hair font is telling us that uh, we're at a time now of spiritual enlightenment where changes are frequent and coming in. I'm so sorry about the adjustments. I don't know why it's doing that. That is annoying. <laughs> so changes are definitely coming in that can be nurtured, that can be, um, you know, created, that can be manifested into the world, especially when it comes to relationships. So those partnerships this year especially are all about partnerships, relationships, and figuring out where they're going because there's a lot of opportunities continued for success and for energy. Um, involvement that's all about putting your energy outward but it's really just figuring out where you want to put that energy so let's get started this is unlock yourself tarot spread and it's for everybody who is drawn to this reading thank you thank you thank you okay so the first card is what makes you unique so, Queen of Wands, what makes you unique is your endearing energy, your abundance. You have tons of abundance, but you're not so quick to smother that abundance. And what I mean by that is you're very delicate with the amount that you've been given, with the, with the amount of privileges that you do have. You're very delicate with it. You don't smother it. You don't shove it in people's faces. You are very proud of what you've accomplished, but it's a balance. It's not a, it's not a push and pull. It's not... I'm so well, so take a look at it and shoving it down other people's throats. You have this calmness to you that shows a level of creativity, a level of abundance, a level of appreciation, guidance, um, uh, gratitude. You have this energy of being able to complete tasks when they've been given to you and you do it with poise with grace with sensibility and with sensitivity and you do it with a fiery passion that shows that you're willing to continue to work hard for what you deem is important so that's what makes you unique how do you unlock your magical powers through your thoughts through your frame of mind the way that you think about things by putting your ego by putting your integrity by putting your growth toward your thoughts by saying, I am powerful, I am magical, I am graceful, I have these amazing opportunities in front of me and it's all about using your thought power in order to create and manifest the world that you want. So you will unlock your magical powers through your thoughts, through your manifestations and by making sure that the thoughts that you do have and the thoughts that you are putting out there are positive, are integral, are graceful, and are empowering. How to unlock your creativity? You unlock your creativity uh, by moving away from current frame of mind, by moving away from a current frame of mind that is just no longer serving you anymore. So for instance, if you're noticing that your life isn't the way that you want it to be, try and think about how the inner dialogue that you're having and how it lines up with your life. You know, oh, I can't stand my home. Yeah, and then you have a, come home to a flood. All the more reasons to not stand your home. Oh, I hate my job. So you get a new boss and it's this boss is horrible. So it's really you unlock your creativity by moving away from the current thoughts that are just not serving you anymore, especially when it comes uh, to your creativity process and what you wanna manifest into the world. How to unlock your compassion? You unlock your compassion by recognizing that no matter what, you're going to be balancing out your power. Money, energy, power, it comes and it goes. You know, it, it, it ebbs and flows like the tides. It comes in, it comes out. So in order to unlock your compassion is to recognize that. Don't hoard your power, don't hoard your money, um, and don't hoard your compassion for others out of fear that you're not gonna have enough, out of fear that you're gonna lose it. Recognize that it's constantly going to be an ebb and flow of power 
power of what you have and what you're putting out there constantly for the rest of your life. It's always going to be that energy flow. How to unlock your prosperity. You unlock your prosperity through positivity, through optimism, through courage, um, through the recognition that you can walk on water. With this idea that everything is taken care of, you are the star of your life. Think about the world as a stage and your relationships are just the actors behind. Um, your prosperity will be unlocked by recognizing that you are the star. You are the lead character in your life and you better be getting paid for that role. That's how you unlock your, prosper your prosperity by telling the universe, this is my life. I'm the lead. I have, I have creative uh, freedom when it comes to my life and that's how your prosperity the universe will start to uh, give you your abundance back and you'll be able to manifest prosperity um, and abundance through that recognition that you deserve it because you are the star of your show how to unlock peace of mind you unlock peace of mind by focusing on your reputation okay and I know that might sound pretty brutal but it's legit in the fact that nobody likes a, a skeptic nobody wants to be around a Debbie Downer Think of your reputation. That will give you peace of mind. That will be like, okay, I want people to, to acknowledge who I am and accept me for who I am. So I'm just going to be myself. I'm going to be honest and true with myself. My reputation is very important to me. And how I feel about myself is how other people's are, people are going to feel about me. And that will give you a sense of calm. Uh, uh, definitely unlock your peace of mind. I was just reading the other day. Um, that people really can't like you more than they like themselves. I'm just going to love you more than they love themselves. It's really up to how much they care and like themselves that they're going to be able to even put that energy toward you. So with that in mind, you'll recognize that, yeah, you, you may be very well liked, but you're only going to be liked up to the point where somebody likes themselves, okay? And if somebody doesn't like themselves, that's probably why you feel like they don't like you because they don't even like themselves. Okay, when are you the happiest? You are the happiest when everything is fair, when it's balanced, when you feel complete, when every area of your life is taken care of. So if you're finding that one area of your life is great and the other area of your life is, is crap, that's how you're going to feel very imbalanced, how you're going to feel um, a lack of happy, a lack of peace of mind, a lack of creativity and compassion and prosperity. So the best way to do that is to try and find the best way to balance out every area of your life. This blurriness is driving me crazy, so I do apologize. Okay, last card is your hidden potentials. Soulmate energy. Soulmate energy is your hidden uh, potential. You are somebody's soulmate. You are somebody's soulmate. You are somebody's reason for living. You are somebody's reason for getting out of bed. You may not even know who that person is, but they are out there. That is your hidden potential to realize and to own the fact that somebody out there sees you as this magnificent, incredible, loving, nurturing, amazing being. You are somebody's soulmate out in the world and that is enough to be the best version of yourself so that when soulmate comes along, if soulmate is not already in your life, you are at your best self in order to bring them into your life and, and create the best world for you. So your hidden potential is that you're a soulmate. So, like I said, this reading is for everybody who is drawn to it. What makes you unique is your Queen of Wands energy, which is all fierceness, great attitude, um, abundance, but not abundance that is egotistical, that uh, throws it down other people's throats, uh, a quiet abundance that just gives you that, that, um, that perspective you know, when you when you look at other people who have less, you're able to recognize that you actually are very blessed. That's the abundance I'm talking about. And that's what makes you so unique. How to unlock your magical powers is a new frame of mind is needed when it comes to the energy that you're putting out there. Um, how to unlock your creativity is by moving on with your thoughts and recognizing that um, what is what you've been thinking about so far may not be your, in your best interest. It's not serving you well enough. So you really want to change your, your frame of mind and your thought process when it comes to how you speak to yourself and how you speak about your life. How to unlock your compassion is to recognize that it's always going to be a balancing act. You're never actually going to be on, on stable ground because that's just what, what power does. It's an energy flow. So you unlock your compassion by recognizing 
hey, sometimes we're up, sometimes we're down. It's an ebb and flow. It's it's not constant. It's uh it's it's not static. It's a stream of changes. And that's how you start to be more compassionate to other people by recognizing that maybe the moment in time that you meet up with them, that's when they're at a low. Um, but it could be that eventually they swing upward. Um, so just be compassionate to everybody. How to unlock your prosperity? You unlock your prosperity by reminding yourself every day that you are the star of your life. This is your show uh, and you deserve the abundance and the prosperity. Um, you should be getting paid like a millionaire, like a like a... I was going to say porn star, but I meant like a famous celebrity <laughs> or, or a porn star. But that is how you unlock your prosperity is by recognizing that you can walk on water, that you are the star of your life. You're not you're not the co-star. You are the leading character and you are getting paid the, the top bill uh, for your energy putting out there. How to unlock peace of mind is to recognize that your reputation is very important to you. Um, and at the end of the day, people are only going to like you as much as they like themselves. So that will give you a little bit of uh, a little bit of, of leeway when it comes to how much work you're going to do in order for people to like you. Like if you feel like you have to really work hard for people to like you, recognizing that maybe there's not a point of, of struggling that much because they're only going to like you as much as they like themselves. So if you see that there's like a really negative person in your life who talks horribly about themselves, why would you ever think that they were going to talk good about you, right? When are you the happiest? You're the happiest when you are balanced, when everything is fair and equal and every area of your life is taken care of. And your hidden potential is that, of course, you are somebody's soulmate. You are somebody's lover. You are the world. You are the apple in somebody's eye. You, you mean the world to somebody that is out there. And that is enough to keep going forward, to keep striving to be better and to live your best life. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, as always, if you like a personalized reading, please contact me. My email is below. I include astrology and numerology with each tarot reading. Love you so much, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.